Hi everyone, this is Richard. In this video, we're going to start setting up the web application. Okay, so we got the server component. Let's get the other component, which of course is going to be the web application itself up and running. Okay, so I'm going to go to file new window. So we're going to have two Visual Studio codes running side by side. Then I'm going to open folder and I have a web application. You probably don't create the folder, name it something. I'm just going to say web application enter into it and then you can always do the where are we right here you can always of course do the right here terminal stage hand right web simple and so I already did that for this and then did pub get and okay uh, here, though, what I'm going to do is in order to create a part of the web application that interacts with the server, how do we do that? Generally, we use the form element. There might be other ways, but this is the best starting point. I'm, I'm not sure if there are other ways. This, I'm still starting, okay? So the form element. The form and anything that you have inside of the form it itself is going to be contained in this. It's kind of like a div element. It just keeps in there. Form in and of itself doesn't have any shape or anything like that. It's just purely a non-visual type of element. So by the way, one of the features I really like on Visual um, Studio is you can right click and format HTML. You couldn't do that for Atom Editor, so I really like that. So I'm going to put inside here a text and a submit. Here, input type equals submit. This is actually different from before where we said type equals button, value equals submit. Submit button in and of itself is a button element, but it's very specific used for the form. So what it says is that when I hit the submit, this is automatically built into HTML. When I hit the submit button, it sends the data from the form into the server. Now, where do I send it? I send it right here to localhost 8080 right here. Actually, I'm going to change that to 88,000. Okay, just let's just change that to 8,000. Save. I'm going to change this to 8,000. Save. The reason I'm going to do this is because when we do pub serve, it naturally go serve. It naturally goes to port 8080. Um, uh, um, I always Excuse me. I could do 8,000, but I'm too lazy to do that. So I'm just going to say, just go to 8080, and then this web server will be on 8,000. So when I hit submit, it will go to this location right there. Um, method. So the method is, what do you want to do with this? So remember in the previous video, we talked about what do you do with data? This is data, okay? You're obviously sending some type of data to the server. What else are you sending, right? So what do you want to do with it? You could, um, again, CRUD, remember? Create, read, update, delete. So, but for some strange reason, uh, we don't have those because these the methods you could have, there's several different types of methods. Most common one is post and get. And if you think about it in terms of the CRUD, post is basically create this data and you're going to create it data, send it over to the, um, to the web server and you're going to create, keep it, save it. Okay. Get seems to be read. So if it's get, what you're doing is I'm sending over information and I'm getting something back. So it's kind of like a, what usually it is, is you send over a key and you receive back a value. So that's usually what the get is. It's a read type of method. Then um, there is, to, in order to do an update, there's either a put, P-U-T, or sometimes I've seen patch. Um, but put, basically, I've seen that more often. You send that over, and you update a file, basically. Um, and then there's delete. So a method could be post, get, put, or delete. There are other things like head, and I'm not sure what those do, but we'll probably figure out them out in the future but that's what we can do, okay? So let's do this. We have a very simple web um, application right here, PubServe, and it'll be hosting on 8080, and local, so it's right here, all right? Now, 
when I hit the submit, it doesn't matter what I'm going to do here, but when I hit the submit, it's going to go over here because the port is going to be running. Oh, let's run this first of all. Okay, it's running on 8,000. So when it comes, that is correct, isn't it? 8,000, there we go. When it runs here, it's going to hit request in request server, and then it's going to hit it if statement. If the request.method equals get, then it's going to write good job, else it's going to say you have the wrong method. What method do I have? It's post. Okay, so that actually should say you have the wrong method, right? So you have the wrong method. Okay, so that's a more advanced web application from before. <laughs> it's still super simple. Let's do get. And let's save it. It automatically builds back up again. Reload. Oh, actually, you got to go back to 8080. Reload. And then we hit submit again. Good job. OK, so there is the, the port itself. That's 8,000. Um, let me think here. Here, I think you have let me remove this HTTP. I'm not sure if you could just put localhost. I think you can. And <clears throat> yeah, you actually can. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. No, you can't. Actually, you have to put HTTP right inside of there. For it to actually work okay so keep that in mind um here in the browser you don't have to put http just because it's understood the browser is smart enough to say oh i know what you're talking about but uh on the web application you actually have to, to specify that so very simply form element the submit sends data to the server itself that's what separates it from the type equals just button it's a specific type of button even though it's clearly just a button. Um, the action, where to send the information, and the method. And then we'll use that in the future, the method, to say, what do we do with this data? This is just an acknowledgment that, yeah, you did it right. Now we got to do something next. Okay? Thank you.